it is part of society's hustle to get you to think like everyone else. We've been sold down the river by Joe and an East Indian slickster. B1. Black first is hashtag B1. Yeah, Gregory X comes in all day, all the time. Mm-hmm. So it's so it's so it's uh um, what up, Gregory? So so that's my so that's my take on it, you know. I okay. I had yeah, Biden had a 10%. So Lake Charles, Louisiana. We'll definitely come back to it because somebody's gonna call in and ask you about something like that. But Lake Charles, why LA? <laughs> why, okay. why LA instead of New York? Or did you start in LA? I mean, did you start wait, in New York? Wait, wait, hold on. I can't get back to you. I'm still in the comments because it's only living online. It's not. It's not like allowing me to come back. Hmm. Oh, so you can't see me? There it is. Hold on. Got you. I couldn't see you. Okay, yeah. now what? I'm okay. ready. So you chose Los Angeles over New York. <laughs> Why is that? I did because I love the water. I love the beach. Uh huh. I love the beach. So when I, <laughs> so funny, when I was moving out here to come to be an actor, I didn't even think of New York at the time. I was just oh. like, oh my God, I want to be in LA. I love the weather. I want to be at the beach. Like right now I live in Marina Del Rey. I, I can walk to the beach. Like that's my happy place. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Um, now, though, I'm like, okay, I think I'm ready to go work in New York. Like, I can book a job in New York and work in New York, but primarily I spend my time between Atlanta and LA. But I mean, I'm grateful for it anyway. So being by coastal is still dope. Um, yeah. So I'm kind of trying to itch out to that, to that, you know, the east side. <laughs> yeah, 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 New York, New York is definitely a uh, a beautiful place to live, but you got to have a little bit of money. Oof. I mean. It's, it's it's expensive. You got money for New York or LA. Yeah, <laughs> LA. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm like, if I go to New York, it got to be for a job. A job got to pay me to be there. <laughs> facts, big facts, big facts. Terrence Bailey says we are being sold back into slavery by our own people and government. That's why I have no political affiliation. Too many bled, too much for this. Too many people bled too much for this. Too much for this. Yeah, mm-hmm. I um I was born in New York and. And I go back for fights a lot. So maybe, well, twice a year, maybe. Um, and I always say it's a great place to visit, but I couldn't live there. Too many people. Too many people. They like on top of you, like left mm, and right. It's you know? congested. And very congested. Yeah. Very congested. Yeah. And uh, I, I like the freedom of and the space in Los Angeles, you know, even though it's, you know, kind of the public transportation is, is a lot better in New York, you know, Probably. as it pertains as it pertains to LA. So mm-hmm. like me state mass communications and all that, right? Yeah, man. <laughs> I wanted to be a news anchor. I wanted to be on television. I wanted to be like, hi, I'm Taja V. Simpson coming to you live. You know, I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to be, you know, in the field with the action. And then uh, I got to acting and was like, ah, oh, I kind of like this more. So I realized I was destined to be in front in camera, you know, in front of the camera. Just maybe not doing news, but I do love news and I can do a reporter role, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, that's, that was my first love was being a news reporter. And what was your first job here in Los Angeles? Your mommy asked. Yeah. So interesting. I just thought about this the other day. I did this short film called greater, the greater ambition. Yeah. And I went in and one of my friends told me about it. I went and I booked it. It was literally, I just got here like maybe a week in LA. And I wow. booked the movie. So I was just like, okay. Oh my God. It's so, you easy. know, from, I'm from Louisiana. I booked yeah. something in LA. I felt like I had made it. Oh, I made it. It's a short film. Relax. It's going to, it's going to film festivals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, but I was really excited about it. Um, and I was just talking about this with my boyfriend the other day because it has uh, a, a love scene in it. Yeah. And that was like my first love scene. And it wasn't yeah. anything major. Like it wasn't like power, which is yeah. soft porn. It yeah. was um, it was way more it was different, but I just I was too uncomfortable watching it back. You know, I just um, was like, oh man, I don't know, I don't know. And but because of that, I've never really been able to do a love scene because I've just been like, that's a lot. I don't know if I can do it. I'm not saying I'll never do it, I don't know, but right now I feel feel a little bit uneasy doing the simulated sex scenes and stuff like that. That's just not really, you don't see really? me do any of that right now in my entire portfolio of work. <laughs> yeah. Really? That's interesting. That's in, yeah. it, I would, it's, it's funny you say that because I would think of it as the other way around. Like, like uh, women can compartmentalize things more so than men. Mm-hmm. 
you know, like l- l- like men, I ain't doing that shit. You know, what I mean, women, ah, oh, man, right. come on, man. yeah, let me do that. That's you that's, know, that's interesting because I'm definitely a compartmentalizer for sure. But in that regard, I don't know. It's still my body. <laughs> it's gotcha, still, gotcha, you know, gotcha. it's still like I don't know. I just, it just like I don't know. I'm not ready yet. Maybe it, it will be at some point, but right now, I don't think I'm ready. What yeah, great you, talking about? 